Okay, here we have um, three different equilibrium reactions, um, each one with a corresponding value for the equilibrium constant. You'll notice this is Kp, indicating that this is in pressure units. Okay, so these, uh, these three equations, uh, hydrogen and bromine gas uh, reacting to form uh, hydrogen bromide vapor and uh, and then the dissociation of hydrogen and the dissociation of bromine uh, vapor into the atoms okay all of this is in the, the gas phase so the question here is based on this information let's find a value for the equilibrium constant of this reaction which is a combination of a hydrogen atom and bromine atom to form the hydrogen bromide molecule. Okay, um, so this kind of is a is a flashback to Hess's law, if you will. It's kind of reminiscent of Hess's law, where we need to com combine these three reactions to uh, to sum up to our final reaction. All right. So we see we have the atoms as reactants and we're forming HBr. Okay. So here's our HBr. It's as a product. Here are the atoms. They're shown as products. Okay. So the HBr we want as a product, but the atoms we want as reactants. So that means we need to flip these ones around. Okay. And then uh, we'll also have to address the coefficients. Okay, so first of all, what happens when you flip the equation around? What happens to our Kp? Okay, to, uh, to discover that, let's write it out. Okay, in the, write out our expression. This is just going to be simply the, uh, cons or rather the pressure of the hydrogen atoms. P sub H squared right, uh, divided by the, the pressure of the hydrogen gas. Right? So this is the expression for our Kp there. Now if we flip that around, what does that do? Here we have the products over the reactants. So if we flip it around, now our product ends up being on the bottom and a reactant on the top. So we see that uh, if we flip our equation, we get the reciprocal in our Kp, right? So let me go ahead and uh, rewrite this um, as uh, um, two hydrogen atoms in equilibrium with a hydrogen molecule okay and so the kp for this is equal to the 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 reciprocal here and you know you can think of this like over 1 and so this value is going to be 4.8 times 10 to the minus 41 divided by uh, or rather 1 divided by 4.8 times 10 to the uh, minus 41. Okay, and so what we end up with is 2.08 times 10 to the 40th. Okay, so that's my Kp um, Oops, I wrote that in the wrong place. Okay, 2.08 times 10 to the 40th. All right, that's my Kp for this reaction, the combination of two atoms of hydrogen to form an, a molecule of, of hydrogen. Okay, um, but you'll notice there's one other thing here. All right, I only have one atom. Okay, so what I can do is I, I, I just divide these by two, okay? So, and if I do that, what happens 
to my k. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and write the k expression for each of these. And uh, what am I doing here? This will be one, and here will be one half h two. Okay, so um, my kp here is equal to the pressure of hydrogen gas divided by the pressure of the hydrogen atom uh, molecule or atoms squared. Okay. Now, if I write the uh, the kp for this, uh, I'll go ahead and put it here. It's going to be the pressure of the hydrogen gas raised to the one half power. I'll go ahead and write that as the square root divided by the pressure of the hydrogen. Okay, so what do you see happened? Right, may not be quite what you uh, anticipate at first sight, but what happens is I end up taking the square root. Okay, so if I divide by two, you take the square root. All right, um, or essentially whatever multiplier you use. I take this, I multiply through by two, and I get this. I'm going to raise it to the power of. So if I take this and I raise this to the power of two, it'll cancel out my square root and it'll square this, and that's what I get there, right? So you just raise it to the exponent, and that means my value is just gonna be the square root of this value will be my kp here, okay? So what that ends up being is 1.44 times 10 to the, uh, not minus, but uh, positive 20th, okay? So that's my KP for that one.